hello guys and welcome back to my channel or hi if you're new here I am doing something a little bit different today and sharing a vegan cosmetics haul with you so everything I'm going to show you guys is cruelty free which means it's not tested on animals and also it does not contain any animal products in it which means that it's vegan so I got everything I'm going to show you guys today from Barry M which is a UK brand so I live in Germany at the moment so I did have to pay for shipping but it's a really cheap brand the most expensive thing I bought was only five pounds something and um, which was the mascara so um, all in all it worked out a lot better to just get it shipped to me and I really do love these products so let me show you what I got so the first thing I want to show you is this bronzer and um, I do not wear very much makeup anymore at all. When I went vegan it really like teared up my complexion quite a lot. I guess I have a few like hormonal spots sometimes but um, overall if I make sure I'm eating a lot of whole foods and drinking a lot of water I definitely do not need foundation which is why I don't wear it anymore. But something that I do love wearing especially in the winter is this which is a afterglow, afterglow light bronzer so I use like this just to give my face a little bit of color because when you live in Europe in the winter you can become very very pale and I always think that I look quite like more tired and a bit sick if I'm pale so this thing is a lifesaver I absolutely love it and another product that I put on my skin is this and I have used this before. This is just like a flawless matte like finishing powder which people usually put on after they've done their foundation and everything but I don't wear foundation so this just kind of it reduces it reduces the shine from your skin. So um, I don't use this every single day because if you put a lot of product on your skin then you're going to get bad skin because it clogs up your pores and um, so I don't use this daily but I do really like it just to give your face more of like an airbrushed look um, and this is actually really cool so um, I haven't used any of this yet it literally just arrived yesterday but it comes with a little like powder in the back and a mirror you guys can see yourself <laughs> um, so that is really handy just to like put in your backpack and carry around with you yes I use a backpack not a handbag because Backpacks are better for your spine and your back. If you have back issues all the time, seriously consider if it's the fact that you use a handbag because it all, obviously it like makes you crouched over. <laughs> so another thing I got was actually two mascaras. I thought if I was already paying for shipping, which was like eight pound or something for shipping, um, which seems like a lot because it is kind of a lot, but you gotta do what you gotta do. So I thought why not buy two because then I won't have to do another haul in ages. All this stuff will probably last me months like if not a year because I really don't use makeup that much so um I absolutely love this one um and that's why I bought two I have used this before and I do find it quite difficult to find a good cheap vegan mascara because a lot of the cheap ones they just don't work at all and then a lot of the other ones that I see people recommending they're quite expensive um and while other people want to invest like 20 to 30 pound in a mascara I definitely don't this one was five and um it's not my favorite type of brush because I would prefer a thicker one because I like having big thick eyelashes but um, I have it on at the moment and I only have one layer on um, and it's quite good but usually I would put like three layers on or something and then it gives me that look that I want so I do really really love this. I've been using it already for about half a year maybe and I just bought another two so that says something. Um, another thing is the lipsticks. So um, these are actually a very similar shade. I don't remember ordering similar shades online. I have no idea. But one is 171 and one is 170. So they are very similar um, and they're just like a berry color. So this one is actually called M Move It, like Move It. It's kind of funny. And this one's Berry Licious. So I really like Berry. I think it just really suits me. It's my color, Berry lipstick. Um, and also on the note of Berry, I also always wear Berry nail varnish. You can't, I'm chipped like crazy right now, but um, I've put this new one on one nail and really you need a base coat. It does actually say you need a base coat. So fair enough. But um, yeah, I think that this is just lovely and Christmassy. It's just actually just red glitter but like a berry kind of red um more like that Christmassy color of like Santa's you know Santa's coat like what's it called Santa's do they have an official name I don't know but you know the berry colors it's not red red but it's my fave 
And then I also got a white nail varnish and I have used Barry M nail varnishes for ages. Um, even before I was vegan, I used them because they are very cheap, two to three pound for one and it lasts a very long time. It doesn't chip very easily and it doesn't need as many coats as some of the other drugstore brands that are also cheap. So the last thing I got was this, which is just a little pink eyeshadow and um, that's what it looks like inside. It is really, really cute and small and I thought I would just try that out because um, I really wanna know like what good eyeshadows there are out there. At the moment I'm using the e.l.f. palette, which is just like a mock of the Urban Decay Naked palette, but the Naked palette, while being cruelty free, it actually does contain animal products. It has like carmine in it or something like that. So it's not vegan and that's pretty disappointing, but the e.l.f. one is a good mock on it. But um, yeah, I'm just gonna try out one of the Barry M eyeshadows before I purchase any more. So the last thing I just wanted to say is why should you care about what products you buy? And the reason is, is because um, animal testing, it's really an outdated thing. It doesn't service any benefit, like clinical, like chemical testing um, or whatever the official name for it. It is so much better and it's done wide, widely. So. Yeah, a lot of people seem to think because these um, products aren't tested in Europe on animals anymore because it's actually illegal to test on animals in Europe. Um, they are actually still tested in places like China where it is essential. And you know, the way that you have to think about it is if that business really cared about ethics, if they cared about animals, they wouldn't continue to you know, supply goods to a country that requires them to test on animals. So while they're not testing on animals in this country, they still do adopt those practices for other countries. So they still are, you know, your money will still be funding animal testing. And I'm just totally against animal testing. I think it's so unnecessary when there are vegan and cruelty-free products out there. As I said, most of Barry M is vegan. The entire range is actually cruelty-free though. So if you want to take that first step and switch to cruelty-free cosmetics, you can do that you don't have to go cruelty free and vegan all at once but as you see I managed to get everything I needed and it was cruelty free and vegan urban decay is also cruelty free but not all the products are vegan um, so just really just do your research. Superdrug is a really good brand as well. Um, all their stuff is actually vegan, like their toothpaste and their shampoos and shower gels and all the stuff from their own brand. So that is awesome. And yeah, just really think about where your products come from. Think about what you're actually funding. Do you want to give your money to a business that aren't very ethical and they don't care about animals or, you know, just do your research about where your money is going. Cause we work hard for our money. We want to put it into good businesses. I want to support good businesses that are doing, you know, forward things and not like practicing outdated practices that are, you know, you know what I mean guys. So anyway, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Um, this cosmetics haul was fun. I don't do cosmetics hauls regularly. So, um, yeah, I'm not going to be doing another one for a long time, but I really am excited by all these products, which is why I had to show you guys. And I'm especially excited by the nail varnishes because those are my thing. So I will talk to you guys in the next video and thank you guys so much for watching. Bye bye. Some things you might not know about Barry M. They're British. They're family run. They don't use excessive packaging. Um, they are, you know, in London and there's over 250 colors. They don't use chemicals. Well, they do, but <laughs> they don't use the nasty chemicals that a lot of main brands do. Um, also, they have a very low price and they are a cruelty-free company. They have never and never will test their anim products on animals and they don't sell in countries that demand animal testing. And also, all of their products are vegetarian and most are vegan. So that is awesome. I really, really would recommend checking out this brand. I absolutely love them. I've used their products in the past and they are really high quality and good. Barium.